Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And about a year ago, I did a video on this HP OfficeJet Pro 9015E. And the firmware kept on trying to update every time I put in a new set of aftermarket altered or clone cartridges. And I do have the firmware set to where it does not check. And that's good. However, it doesn't mean anything because this printer still tries to go and update the firmware every time you try to change out the cartridges. Or if you just happen to be, you know, passing by and printing something, it'll say, hey, your firmware is out of date. You have to update it. If you update this firmware, what's going to wind up happening is any of those altered or cloned cartridges, the aftermarket ones that are far more uh, economical in terms of cost to purchase, it will no longer work. I ran into a problem last year that this particular printer, I updated the firmware figuring that it was a good idea to do, and then my altered and clone cartridges, the aftermarket cartridges that I had, were no longer able to be used. It actually bricked the printer. So I talked to someone smarter than me who was better with network stuff, and he said, well, if it's trying to go and update the firmware, just block it from contacting those servers, and here's how you do it. So the first thing you need to do is get the IP address that your router statically assigns to the printer. Whether you're using an HP printer or any printer, usually it's found in the settings. So this is the IP address for this particular printer. So I'm using a TP-Link AC1200 dual band router, but your router might be different. You need to go into the access controls here, and it's like parental controls, but basically I created a rule that says this IP address for the printer, any outbound or inbound traffic to that IP address that I showed before, uh, deny access to the internet. So anytime I go and either try to go and check the firmware myself, or if it tries to do it on its own, this is what happens. So here in printer maintenance, we go here to update the printer, and then you can check now. And what it'll do is that it gets blocked. It's going to hang here for about two or three minutes until it finally says there's a network problem. It cannot connect. And eventually you get this error message. And if this comes up, then you have done this setup properly. It can no longer update the firmware without your knowledge. And it is probably the best way to go and stick it back to HP. And you can still use your altered or clone cartridges without any problems. I can still print, I can still scan, I can still send to a computer on my local network in order to make a PDF, for example, or just print from my phone. Everything works locally. I don't care about any of the online advanced features. And this is exactly what I want. So screw you, HP. You're not going to go and control my printer that I paid my money for.